Hello friends, happy Thursday. I hope you are doing well and having an amazing day so far. Um, today is kind of a dreary day. Um, it's not feeling like spring at all, but we're gonna do some spring things today. Make it feel a little bit more springy at least. <laughs> um, I have quite a few different things planned. We're gonna make a spring bucket list, which I'm gonna share. Um, I am planning to plant some of my seeds, which I'm very excited about. I have these big plans of doing like a huge flower garden and then I want to, um, I don't know, just do make cute bouquets to give out to people or to sell or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to plant some of those seeds and also some like seeds for um, my garden this year, like some vegetables. I want to do tomatoes cucumbers, different things. I'm not sure if I'm gonna plant all of those today. I'm just going to kind of do some research and see which ones would be best to plant now and which ones I should wait a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Um, also, first thing before we do anything, I'm gonna tidy up the house. My dog has made a dreadful mess in the living room. It seems we can barely go an hour without her ripping something to shreds in the living room. And it's always in the living room. I don't know why. Like. Can't you do it on the floor that I can sweep? <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I need to tidy up the house. And then later this afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm planning to do some sewing. So yeah, got a wedding dress to work on for a wedding that's coming up in a few months. And that is going to be my day. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm very excited to be spending the day with you all. Harper, did you make a mess? You make a mess in the living room. <gasps> what did you do? Did you make a mess? bucket list. But before I do that, I forgot to mention that I have something really fun that I'm planning to share sometime in the video. It has to do with clothing. Um, and I'm very excited about this. So just stay tuned for that. But anyways, we're going to make a spring bucket list. Pretty much what I do um, when I'm making a seasonal bucket list is I go to Pinterest and just look for ideas because sometimes I just don't know exactly like what is cool to do in spring or whatever so I'm gonna browse Pinterest and then I'll read off my bucket list afterwards and share what I have so you can have some ideas of what to put on your bucket list shop at a farmer's market. I don't really remember doing that too much ever and so like I have done it a couple times but I just really want to do more of that this spring and summer. Spring cleaning of course. I know my windows need to be cleaned and just some other areas where there's a few spider webs probably so that is very high on the list. Gardening of course that's a no-brainer. I absolutely love doing gardening and any sort of stuff like that. Along with that is definitely visiting greenhouses. That is probably my favorite part of spring, like just going to a greenhouse and just browsing for hours 
it just makes my heart so happy and I am waiting until they open. <laughs> um, I want to go hiking as soon as the weather is nice. It's very, very up and down, back and forth right now, but hopefully in a month or two it'll be nicer. Have a picnic, of course. This one might have to wait for a little bit until it's warmer, maybe end of spring. Um, host a yard sale, of course. I want to wait until our little town has like town-wide yard sales and then I want to do it as well. I think I'll have much better luck. I tried it on my own once, uh, I think it was last summer and it did not work out. It was not successful at all. So <laughs> decorate for spring, which we've already done. Um, host a tea party. I think it'll be so much fun just having like little snacks. It wouldn't necessarily have to be tea that you're drinking, but I just think it would be so much fun. Um, eat brunch with friends. I love that idea. Plant flowers, which I think I already mentioned. I want to plant so many flowers this year. Um, I have the space for it in my yard, so why not, right? Um, do random acts of kindness. And this one kind of goes along with planting flowers. I have this like whole idea that I want to like just make bouquets because I love doing stuff like that. And then I'll just be able to give them to random people and make their day. Um, Pick berries, of course. Um, it might be more like early summer that this happens because here in Ontario, things are not ripe or ready to be picked very early. If anything, it might be strawberries. I'm not even sure when they start. I'm thinking it might be mid-June or something like that. And rollerblading. I have not done this in so long. This is something that is very much on my shopping list. I actually don't even own rollerblades, but we have the perfect like quiet street that we live on and it would just be perfect instead of like if you don't want to walk or whatever to just go rollerblading um see if i could get my husband inspired to do that with me i think it would be such a fun thing to do together um so yeah that is my bucket list i think i might make a graphic if you guys want that um it might be on my i might post it on my instagram but that is my bucket list. Okay, <laughs> so I just ate some lunch because I was feeling really shaky. If I don't eat when I should or when I need to, it just gets super shaky. But anyways, I was thinking that I was going to plant my seeds in dirt today, but I changed my mind. I, um, one of my friends told me how she did it, and I've seen a few other people doing this, where they just put their seeds into like a damp napkin and into a Ziploc bag and then stick it on the window and like you can see if they germinate or not. And then you know which ones to plant and which ones to just throw out if they don't germinate. So I thought that was such a cool idea. And it's still super early, honestly. And so I think it should be fine if we do that first then we can plant them later on so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the whole process i have all my stuff in the kitchen here's my box with like leftover seeds from last year as well as some new ones that i bought and it says to use paper towel i was looking it up doing some research but i don't have paper towel so i'm just going to use napkins which i think should be fine and got my ziploc bags here and then i also I'm gonna need tape and a permanent marker if I can find one. Okay, so you are underneath my cupboards right now. <laughs> the first, okay, the only things we're going to do today is peas, jalapeno peppers, and I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna try cilantro. Um, I don't know how any of this is gonna go, so. If you're a pro gardener, don't judge me too harshly. I'm I'm learning and I'm practicing with things. <laughs> but anyways, that is what we're gonna plant today.
going to stick them on this window right here in the dining room because this is where most of the sun comes in. Here we go. I think they look so cute actually, kind of messy. That's why I kind of put them behind the curtain there. But I love how you can just see like if they've sprouted yet or not. So yeah, they better grow. I'm going to be planting a few more different seeds um, like maybe in a few days or so. But yeah, this is what we got going for now. I'm wanting an iced coffee but for some reason I'm just way too lazy and making matcha is actually much simpler. So we're gonna have a nice matcha now. Now that we've got our matcha, I've got something really excited to share with you. Um, I got some skirts from this little boutique in Alberta that I absolutely love. The quality is just amazing um, and yeah, it was super cool. She has, they have like an online store, which I'm going to leave the link to their website in the description of this video. But um, while I was visiting my sister, she actually happens to live like 10 minutes away. And so I was able to go to her house and see the store and everything. So that was super fun. And I got to meet her. She's a very sweet lady. Actually, I think her and her sister-in-law have the store together. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully I'm giving all the right information, but... Anyways, let's get to the point. I got two denim skirts from there and I had one before already that I absolutely loved. I wear it all the time and I'm sure I've had it for over a year already and the quality, like it's still in the same shape it was as when I got it. So I am super impressed and I am absolutely loving the skirts that I got. Um, this time as well. So let me set the camera down show you guys what I have Okay, the first one is this blue denim skirt um, And I just absolutely love everything about it. It is extremely stretchy and soft denim like Just wish you could feel it. It's like whoa. I have like so much room to grow <laughs> and I am absolutely loving this little embroidered detail at the bottom. I think it is so cute. That was the main attraction to this skirt. I just think it is so adorable. It's got pockets that are nice and deep. Stick like your phone in or whatever. And yeah, I just love everything about it. The next one is this black denim skirt which I'm loving. I haven't had a whole lot of black denim um, till now and I just love it so much. Again, it is super stretchy and soft. Um, this waistband is a little bit different. It's just like elastic in here, but I love it so much. It is so comfortable and again, it has pockets which are completely functioning. Um, and I just love the length. It comes like right below my knees and yeah I just love everything about it. I'm gonna have a discount code for you guys if you would also like to shop some of these skirts. They're so modest and just the quality is amazing and I just highly recommend them. The company's name is Oak Olive Co and I just really love all of the clothes that they have. They've got dresses as well as some tops and a lot of skirt options. So definitely go check that out. I'm going to have the discount code. Um, if not, if it's not right here, it's gonna be in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Last thing on the agenda for this whole afternoon is to get sewing. I am kind of a procrastinator in that area for some reason, which is weird because I enjoy it. Um, but I guess it just always looks like such a big job to me that I just kind of wait till I absolutely have to, which is terrible. But we are cutting out a wedding dress today. It is going to be so beautiful. I won't finish it today for sure or not, but I'm just at least going to cut it out and get started on sewing maybe the top. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you've ever been curious what that process looks like, 
I'll take you along for the cutting out part. Um, but yeah, it's about two o'clock and supper is normally around six to seven. So I have about four-ish hours. I'll probably have to stop somewhere in there to make some dinner. But that's my plan for the rest of the afternoon. got everything cut out well not everything actually just the top of the dress and I'm going to try getting that completely sewn today hopefully um, it is quite a lot of layers because it's some thin material and there's lace and so yeah it's going to definitely take some time but gonna look so pretty. I already can see, I can just envision it already. It's gonna look so pretty. I was slightly nervous about how part of the neckline would be because it has to be a scalloped edge and I've attempted a scalloped edge before like on the lace. It did not work but that was because I had tried it rounded and I was just using like the straight edge of the material so that was a fail. But this one is like a v-neck so I think it's gonna work great and um, I just, oh, this is not the right piece. And we're doing like a seam like in the middle here. I can't show you too much because I have no idea who will watch this and I don't like to, um, I like for the bride to, to be able to, um, show off her dress like before me. But it's just gonna be so pretty. Oh, I am having such a hard time today with staying motivated. Like, I literally don't feel like doing any of this, but we're just doing things until we feel like it. <laughs> so looking so pretty. This is what the sleeve looks like. It's gonna have a cute scalloped edge. Anyways, I need to stop showing you guys. I'm just so excited about this dress. It's probably, I wanna say one of the most like complicated which means it's probably gonna be one of the nicest looking dresses I've ever made. So I am so excited about it. Day. I really wish I could show it to you, um, but unfortunately I can't because it would just give away how it's going to look. The entire top is sewn together, so yes, and it looks amazing. Um, I think that will be all for today's video. I am about to make some dinner and we're just going to have a relaxing evening, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will leave the... Um, code in the description as well as the website if you guys want to go check out that small business Oak Olive Co um, and yeah I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time